Um, we had started conversations with uh, the Eagles yesterday, fairly early on, uh, because of how this storm was moving. It kept growing. I want to remind folks that our first estimate uh, that was given to us by Weather Services on Wednesday, this past Wednesday, was that this storm was going to be four to eight inches. Uh, obviously, it grew a little bit uh, over time. And so, as we saw that happening yesterday, we started conversations with the Eagles. The Eagles needed permission, of course, from the NFL. I think one other game got moved uh, because, of, uh, because of the weather. I think that was the Baltimore uh, game. And then they called it uh, yesterday. That gives us time to clear the roadways, get the parking lot straightened out. They've got to spend time getting the field uh, ready as well as getting uh, snow out of the stands. Uh, so it worked out well uh, for everyone, and I really appreciate their uh, their cooperation. Moving that game back helps us a great deal with our own uh, snow fighting efforts. The, the emergency is still in effect right now. Uh, we will update you in the course of the day uh, in terms of when uh, it might be lifted. But for the moment, uh, the snow emergency, as declared by the managing director yesterday at 9 a.m., is still in effect. The emergency operations center is still open, uh, and uh, that's the way we're dealing with that. Um, you know, a lot will happen between now and a lot will happen between now and tomorrow. I think for the moment, uh, we're focused on snow fighting uh, and uh, asking people to shovel their sidewalks, uh, create some kind of path. There are too many pedestrians out in the street. Those conflicts between pedestrians and motorists with a slippery road surface uh, could be a disaster. So clear some kind of path on your uh, on your sidewalk. Take your time. Uh, don't overexert yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Stay hydrated uh, and take breaks from time to time. Also try to help a neighbor. We have a lot of senior citizens in Philadelphia uh, who cannot get out uh, to do that uh, kind of shoveling. Uh, so if we all help each other, we can get through this. Uh, but we need to get those sidewalks clear. And please don't throw the snow back in the street. As you, said, we got, um, as you said, we got a lot more so than was initially uh, forecasted. How is this impacting the city financially? Um, our primary focus right now is uh, getting the city uh, back up and running. Uh, you know, all the departments and agencies over the next week or so will figure out what the cost is. It's a snow event. We have to deal with it, and uh, we're doing it uh, in the most expeditious and efficient uh, manner as possible. And, you know, snow is snow. I mean, it's, it's hard to uh, hard to predict. As I said, we were uh, first told uh, 4 to 8, and we end up with the second worst snowstorm in the city's history. So, you know, it is what it is. We're going to fight it, and we're going to keep working on it until we get the city back up and running. Where are you going to put the snow? Um, you know, we were thinking about uh, putting it, uh, a lot of it, actually, in your backyard. Uh, but, um, you know, we're, we're not sure if we can get all the trucks uh, over, to, uh, over to your place. Um, uh, you know, over time, some of it's going to melt. Obviously, we're trying to compact it uh, in, uh, in a variety of, of, of places, uh, but out of the way of uh, pedestrians, off of corners, et cetera, et cetera. So um, we're trying to do the best we can with, you know, body Can you go Sure. Um, trash pickup uh, for the upcoming week will be dealt with as if tomorrow were a holiday in terms of trash. What everyone knows is uh, most of the holidays, most holidays are on Monday. Uh, everything gets bumped back a day. So if you're a Monday trash service person, put your trash out on Tuesday. If you're a Tuesday, put it out on Wednesday. If you're Wednesday, put it out on Thursday. If you're Thursday put it out on Saturday because Friday is Christmas Day and of course we're, we're not providing service. And if you're a Friday person, put it out on Saturday as well. We will deal with that over the course of that weekend and hopefully get the city back on a pretty much a regular schedule on Monday. The complication here of course is this is a two holiday over a two week period of time, 23 inches of snow and the prospect of other storms coming. Uh, so that was a decision. We spent a lot of time trying to figure out the best way uh, to make it happen. The one thing we know is everyone's used to uh, a holiday in a week. Uh, this just happens to be a two-week, a two-holiday situation. But uh, with cooperation, flexibility, and a little bit of patience, we'll all get through this. Is, is the school district already out? Is school already out? <laughs> Not I, heard from the district. That decision hasn't been made yet. Uh, we're in regular communication with the school district and Dr. Ackerman. That decision probably probably won't be made uh, for a good while. We need to assess uh, how uh, the roadways are, the ability of buses to get around, et cetera, et cetera, uh, and we'll update you as soon as we know.